Um, but again, we know that if we can take 1 minus cosine of x divided by x, we know that's equal to 0. So that's what we want to take. We just want to take the 3 outside the limit. And we can, by the properties of limits, which we went over, you can take out a constant. So basically, we just have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x. However, the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x over x is just going to equal 0. So that's equal to 3. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's equal to 0. So your limit is equal to 0. Cool? Now you guys want to try the fun ones? <laughs>